Hi, everyone. My name is Darren Henry. I lead one of the product marketing teams in charge of our ITSM and ITOM solutions. And I want to welcome you and thank you for joining my session, where we'll take a closer look at what's new in Atlassian's Ops Genie and Jira service management product lines. We'll talk about some of the recent enhancements and functionality you can expect to see over the next several months. Now, Ops Genie and Jira service management are two of the fastest growing products at Atlassian. They were designed to help high velocity teams, IT, dev, and operations keep services always on and performing at high levels. We'll start by taking a look at what's new with Ops Genie. Now, many of you may not be familiar with Ops Genie. Ops Genie's are on call and alert management software. It empowers teams to respond, resolve, and learn from every incident. It's available as a standalone offering, but also is the engine behind Jira Service Management's incident management capability. It's used by thousands of different teams, dev and IT operations teams. They rely on Ops Genie to help them minimize the business impact of incidents. And I'd like to quickly tell you how it works. At its heart, Ops Genie manages alerts related to your IT service and infrastructure. We centralize alerts from monitoring, service desk, logging tools. In fact, out of box, we connect to over 200 different tools. We also provide a robust API, webhooks, email integrations. So it really can ingest signals from any source that indicates a change in the health of services from across your IT and dev stack. Once it ingests those signals, Ops Genie can categorize the alerts using a flexible rules engine. It looks at the source of the alert, the information contained within the alert and the time of day. It prioritizes the alert and routes it to the right team. And then it decides how aggressively to notify teams by using escalation policies, which determines what to do if an action is not taken. It maintains your on-call schedules, so it determines the exact individual or teams to notify no matter what time of day. And one of the things that makes Ops Genie so powerful is it uses multiple notifications channels. It includes mobile push, SMS, voice calls, emails, and chat tools. And each user can set the notification preferences that are right for them. So Ops Genie ensures that critical alerts are never missed. Once Ops Genie sends a notification, it empowers the responders to take immediate action. This is the mobile app, and with a tap of the finger, the responders can acknowledge, escalate, add a new responder, or even take more powerful actions like restarting an EC2 instance or restarting a server. Recently, we enhanced some of the heavily used features in Ops Genie. Ops Genie can spin up a native conference bridge for quick collaboration on incidents, and we simplified the interface, as you can see here, making it more easy to see which teams are online and who, who is speaking. You can see when someone is typing in the chat area and get clear notifications. You can also see everyone's video and audio status. Another great enhancement has to do with our ability to override the Do Not Disturb mode for Apple iOS devices. Apple now recognizes Ops Genie alerts as critical alerts, so you can place your phone on Do Not Disturb to block common notifications, but be certain that the critical alerts still make it through. This has only been out for a few weeks, and over 70% of our customers have started using this feature, so it's definitely a crowd pleaser. I mentioned that Ops Genie integrates to almost anything in your IT and dev stack, but we continually add new out-of-box integrations. Two new ones are Sneak, which detects security vulnerabilities, and Amazon Web Services' new DevOps Guru, which uses machine learning to predict incidents before they arise. So now Ops Genie has direct connections to these two apps and can alert you when anything exceptional is detected. Over the last three years, we've also been improving the manner in which Ops Genie integrates with other Atlassian tools, whether they be in the cloud or behind the firewall. In the next few weeks, you'll notice that it's easier to set up integrations with Jira. Actions in Ops Genies can trigger events in Jira and vice versa. For example, you can have an alert sent to a team when a new issue is created in Jira, and you can have a comment added to Jira when the alert is acknowledged in Ops Genie. By setting up these bi-directional relationships, you can streamline your processes and ensure your procedures are followed. One of the major pieces of functionality we introduced last year was the ability to investigate changes that may have impacted services. We do this by allowing you to map repositories or code deployments 
two services, and then if an incident occurs, we're able to retrieve all those code deployments related to that service. Last year, we supported Bitbucket pipelines and added support for Bamboo. This year, we're pleased to announce we support GitLab. So when there's an incident, you simply click the Investigate button. The Incident Investigation view provides the successful deployments, failed deployments, and past incidents related to the impacted service. You can even see deployments related to dependent services. And this graph has a lot of information. The halo around each deployment represents the number of commits. And it's easy to select on one to see each commit and the developers involved. So if a deployment is suspected, in this case, a GitLab deployment, it can be tagged as a potential cause of the incident. And then it will appear in the incident details. This functionality allows you to quickly troubleshoot incidents and get the right developer and teams involved in either deploying a rollback or turning off a feature flag, ultimately restoring the service. There are a few other upcoming changes that will improve the way Ops Genie works. On-call schedules is a cornerstone of Ops Genie, and they're often complex and difficult to understand because of multiple rotations, overrides, holidays, etc. So we're simplifying the user interface to make schedules easier to set up and read. And here's some great examples. The top image shows that there's small gaps within the on-call schedule, and the new UI will highlight those for you. And on the bottom, you actually can see how we integrate a holiday into the schedule, and it's cleanly showed, so everybody has clarity on their roles and responsibilities. One of the other changes we're making is around alert details. With the ability to link JIRA issues, add attachments, and track all activity, the alert detail page is dense with information. Our new layout adheres to the Atlassian Bento Box layout. And you'll see we have critical information at the top, giving users the ability to quickly see and set the priority, as well as elevate the alert to a major incident and link JIRA tickets. The activity is displayed in the tab structure below and can be better filtered to help find important information. Extra properties and related tickets are shown in an expandable area, and that area won't be shown if empty. And finally, common metadata is shown clearly on the right, so responders can see the status, source, response team, assignee, etc., all at a glance. I want to point out that all of these enhancements will be available in OpsGenie standalone plans, but will also appear in Jira service management plans as well. Also, you can get OpsGenie's free plan as part of Atlassian Open DevOps. Okay, now let's shift gears and take a look at what's new with Jira service management, our ITSM solution that unlocks high velocity teams. You may know that Jira Service Management empowers IT teams to manage service requests, incident and problems, change, and assets and configurations. Unlike traditional old iron ITSM solutions, Jira Service Management delivers great service experiences fast without the cost and complexity of traditional ITSM solutions. It's extremely easy to deploy and use. It makes work visible. It provides an open collaborative platform that brings greater visibility to work so your teams have rich contextual information at their fingertips to move fast and make better decisions. And finally, Jira Service Management encourages collaboration between dev and ops. It speeds business requests through to development and onto operations and back again so you can go from ideas to operations fast. Over 30,000 customers trust Jira Service Management, and as I've said before, it's one of our fastest growing product offerings. Let's start by discussing a major enhancement we just made to Jira Service Management Premium and Jira Service Management Data Center, the inclusion of Insight Asset and Configuration Management. We acquired Mindville Insight less than a year ago, and now those capabilities are embedded inside Jira Service Management. Many people think of Insight as a CMDB, but we believe it's much more flexible. It does provide a centralized view of all IT assets and tells you which technologies are being used where, by who, and how they're connected. I mentioned that Insight is flexible. It's because we have a concept of object schemas, which can be customized to fit any type of asset. You can think of these as separate databases within Insight. 
You can see here, we have a schema to store employee information, service information, as well as employee IT assets. Let's look into the employee IT assets. Here you can see the type of objects within the schema, laptops, monitors, phones, etc. Each object can have its own attributes, the critical information we need to store. These attributes can be static, values like serial numbers, they can change over time like statuses, or be linked to other objects. Once this information is built out, it can be utilized throughout the entire JIRA ecosystem. Forms can pull the data to streamline requests, and issue views can query the data to provide more context to agents. So here you can see a request for a new laptop, and the user's existing laptop information is displayed within the ticket so the agent can take appropriate action without a back and forth conversation with the help seeker. Now when incidents occur or changes are requested, the relationships between objects becomes incredibly valuable. Here, a billing service is disrupted. An insight can show a visual graph of all the related objects and agents can immediately see the systems involved and in some cases, the users affected. The graph helps determine the risk associated with change and helps troubleshoot the sources of incidents and problems. Users of the Mindville Insight Cloud application will also notice we've added new capabilities to the embedded version. We've added Insight Discovery support. This is an agent-free network scanner that will pick up your IP-enabled devices. It's free from the marketplace for those who'd like to use it. We've also included data importers that will allow you to bring in data from CSV and JSON files. You can expect our portfolios of importers and integrations with third-party tools to expand over the coming year. So I've touched lightly on the value of Insight, but I encourage you to attend our team breakout session entitled, How to Boost Your ITSM with Asset and Configuration Management. You can also sign up for a specific lightning talk, a webinar on our website. So Insight Asset and Configuration Management is available as part of JIRA Service Management today. But now let me talk about other capabilities that are coming soon, and these are also based on acquired technology. You may have heard we acquired ThinkTilt, the makers of Proforma. Proforma is an easy-to-use form and checklist builder for JIRA Service Management. With no code, you can create dynamic smart forms with a drag-and-drop interface. These forms can then be branded and act as inputs to your JIRA service management projects. There are over 300 templates to choose from, so IT teams can empower all departments across their company to handle service requests with ITSM speed and diligence. For example, you can not only create forms for bug reporting, enhancement requests, and IT service requests, but you can quickly create forms for requesting help from facilities, HR, marketing, and finance. The forms can be streamlined with conditional logic, where as help seekers answer certain questions, it tailors both the additional questions and the choices available in the additional questions. You can also create no-code automations to ensure the right actions are taken as the forms are filled out. Now you'll see these new capabilities appear in JIRA Service Management over the next several months. Now, as many of you know, an important tactic to handle service requests is to provide knowledge-based articles that help employees answer common questions or instruct them on how to handle common problems. JIRA Service Management has traditionally relied on Confluence to create, edit, and manage these articles. While extremely powerful, it did require an extra cost for the Confluence license. I'm pleased to share with you that we plan to add an integrated knowledge base into JIRA Service Management. The embedded knowledge base will be based off Confluence and allow all JIRA service management agents to create, edit, and delete articles that can be searched and linked from within the self-serve portals. So with the embedded knowledge base, JIRA service management is more of a complete turnkey solution. This embedded knowledge base should be available later this year. With all these great new request forms and knowledge base articles, it follows that we'll also want to overhaul our portal. We plan to add a more personalized experience. This includes displaying popular services based off the department, role, and location of the help seeker, the ability for admins to feature the most important service desks and organize them to make it easier to navigate, and a dynamic announcement widget that integrates with multiple sources and helps keep your customers updated. The end result is a consumer-grade experience.
We're also investing in conversational ticketing. We acquired HALP last year and will be including its functionality into Jira Service Management. This transforms your chat tools such as Slack and MS Teams into a vehicle to report issues and request help. You can simply type a message in a designated channel, add a chosen emoji, which will in turn create a Jira Service Management issue. Here we can see the agent view of the ticket, and if additional information is added, it will be reflected back in the chat tool. Conversational ticketing allows employees to quickly report issues from the tools that they use every day. A few other enhancements worth mentioning include a change calendar, which lets operations team visually see all planned changes and avoid conflicts, and delegated administration, which removes the bottleneck associated with managing projects across an enterprise. This new functionality allows administrators to set more granular permissions at a project level. For instance, your teams will be able to easily configure their service desks, including request types, forms, fields, workflows, and automations to match the way they deliver service without relying on site admins. Finally, we have plans to improve reporting. We acquired Chartio and will be leveraging this technology to make the reporting in Jira service management more robust and insightful. Boy, we covered a lot today, and there's so much more information we'd love to share. Here are some suggestions for next steps. If you're not familiar with any of the products we discussed today, I recommend you sign up for a free trial. And if you're using our standard product offerings, you may want to evaluate our premium and enterprise offerings. Further, we have great resources around ITSM and incident management best practices, as well as on-demand webinars that cover the different aspects of our products. So I encourage you to visit these links and learn more. Thank you for taking the time to watch this session and learn about the investments we're making in our ITSM and ITOM products. Have a good day.